Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest, my husband Jacob. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> and he is here because today, by the title you can tell, we are testing old wives' tales to see what the gender of our baby will be, supposedly. Yep. A lot of these people say don't really work, but some of them do. So we're gonna try and figure out between all these different things what the gender of our baby will be. We are finding the gender out later today, so we wanted to get this video done before we find out because yep. we wanna do this unbiased. So yeah, before we get started on the Old Wives Tales, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more pregnancy related videos. If you wanna see more videos with Jacob in them, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, so the first one on the list, I just found a random image on Pinterest that has a bunch of the wives tales on it. So the first one is the Chinese calendar, which when you saw this on here, you were like, what the heck is the Chinese calendar? But it's basically just like a, a calendar. I just searched Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what the Chinese calendar is, it's a calendar that you type in the month the baby was conceived and how old you were and then based on that calendar, it predicts what the gender of your baby would be. I don't really know the logic behind this, but I guess it predicts the gender. So we conceived in April and I was 21 years old and then predict. So the Chinese calendar says it will be a girl. So that's the first tally for girl. Bing. And then the next one is baby's heart rate. So we had our first ultrasound two days ago and the baby's heart rate was 169. 69. I would say I've been craving more salty things than sweet things. You think so? But what I'm would you say? I'm trying to think, what have you been craving? Like I've been wanting know? like nachos and like, yeah. like more like salty, like savory things than That's like true. ice cream. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay. I've been wanting more salty. So, so salty is boy. The next one is morning sickness. If you have morning sickness, it says it's a girl. If you don't, it says it's a boy. I have barely been having any. So. Compared to most people. I haven't thrown up yet. No. You were a little queasy sick this, this morning. morning, but yeah, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I haven't been as bad as some people say. So I would say boy for sure. The next one is, <laughs> we might have to just scratch off the list because the next one is dad's weight. So it says if the dad gains weight, it's a girl. And if the dad maintains the weight, it's a boy. But we're only eight weeks into this. Yeah, and I don't know what my start weight was. Yes, <laughs> so I think we should just scratch <laughs> okay, it, even scratch though, it. yeah. So the next one would be my emotions. So have I been moody, it would be a girl. And if I've been happy, honey wants to join in. If I've been happy, it's a boy. This one I can't really I'd tell. I'd say moody. Really? Yeah. Like more compared to normal? Yeah. Like more, like way more emotional, obviously. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like when you get grumpy, you're grumpier. Yeah. When you are like grumpy. when I'm emotional, it's not happy emotions. It's just yeah, you're moody. <laughs> okay, so, so moody girl. would be girl. And then the next one is my skin. So if I've been having like lots of acne, then it's a girl. If I've been like glowing with no acne, then it's a boy. I think I've been having a lot of acne. Like I have breakouts on my chin. Yeah. And I feel like I have, my skin hasn't been clear since I've gotten pregnant. But what would you say? I don't know. <laughs> you haven't really paid attention or <laughs> no, noticed? not really. I don't okay. Know. I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I feel like I've heard you saying more like you've been breaking yeah. out. Yeah. Especially like right after. Yeah, like right so, when we found out yeah. I was. So yeah, I would definitely say more problematic skin. So that would be a girl. The next one is headaches. So if you have been having headaches, it's a boy. If you have not been having headaches, it's a girl. You've been having headaches. Have I really? Yeah, remember like a week that? or two ago, you're like, oh, you had a headache like every single day. But I feel like that was from not having coffee. But does, is that considered just... I don't know. Have you been having headaches? I feel like I haven't really. But no, if you think I just have... Those couple days. It was just those couple days. You haven't in like a couple weeks. Yeah. So mainly no, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know how many headaches you're having. I would say overall no, okay. in my personal so that opinion. Is so girl? that would be girl. The next one is about how you're carrying the baby if it's high or low, and I'm only eight weeks. Yeah. So I say we skip that one. <laughs> the next one is dreams. If you're having dreams about a girl or a boy, that can be a sign of the gender, but I haven't had any dreams about gender at all. Is like that not what one it's single asking? one. Yeah. 
So if you're having dreams about it being a girl, it's no, a girl. No, I mean, is it asking if you're having dreams at all? Oh, that's a good question because I've definitely been having dream, dreams. Because mother's intuition is what you think it is. I would say that's if you've been having dreams at all. Okay, if I've been having dreams at all, I would say for sure. Because I've been having dreams like every single night, <laughs> but not about the baby's gender, just no, about I don't random think that's stuff. What it's asking. Okay, yeah. yeah. So then definitely okay. dreams. Mother's girl, intuition. Sure. Do you think it's a girl? I think so. I think that's my intuition is that it's a girl, but we'll see because when we went to our ultrasound, yeah. the, do the doctor was like, oh, you haven't been having any morning sickness and it has to be a boy. Yeah, but then I told sense. her, I was like, but my mom had three girls and one boy and she barely had any morning sickness too. Yeah. So we'll find, we'll out, find out in like two hours. <laughs> okay. So the next one is your current age plus the month of con conception. So again, I was 21 and then March is the... April is the fourth yeah. month of the year. So odd, which so is that would be girl. odd. So if it's odd, it's girl, even it's boy. So that would be another one for girl. The next one is what side I'm sleeping on. If you sleep on your right side, it is a girl. If you sleep on the left side, it's a boy. Love. And this one is so funny because before I was pregnant, I would always sleep on my right. And now you only sleep on and your And now left. I literally only sleep on my left, which is boy. Boy. So that's pretty crazy. Like I literally don't sleep on my right side. It's, it's just not comfortable yeah. anymore. Only sleep on your left. Interesting. And the next one is so weird. So it's nose shape. So if it's the same shape, it's as a girl. Me. What do you mean? Same shape as what? Like before? if it's the same as before. Oh. And if it's bigger than before, then I'd it's a say boy. It's the same. But again, it's only been eight weeks. No. So alright, so the next one is the baby's heartbeat. And we had our first ultrasound two days ago. Mm -hmm. And we didn't get to hear the heartbeat, but the nurse said that the heartbeat was 169. Mm -hmm. And if it's over 140, that means it's a girl. And if it's less than 140, it means it's a boy. So that would make it a girl. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're at what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To three. To three. Wow. I thought I thought it would be way more boy. Yeah. Honestly. Okay, so the next one is the Mayan calendar, which is similar to the Chinese calendar. Okay, so it's, I think it's basically the same thing. You find your age and then the month of conception, which would be 21, and it was in April. Mm -hmm. So it says girl, again. I'm a girl. Wow. And then the next one's the ring test, but we'll do that one at the very end because we have to get the camera all set up in a different way. But the next one would be if my feet are warm or cold. So warm is girl and cold is boy. I feel like before I was pregnant, my feet were constantly cold, mm -hmm. like all the time. And, and now they're, they're kind of warm. Like I haven't been noticing them being it's cold anymore. Is that boy? That's boy. Okay. The next is if your fingernails and hair have been growing faster or slower and faster is boy and slower is girl. And I feel like I've had to shave like three times a week really? <laughs> because it's been growing so, so fast. Faster, I think it's been faster, which is boy. Technically the fingernails and leg hair are two separate like items. So that would mean two for boy. Cause I feel like both my fingernails and leg hair are both growing super fast. So that's two for boys. So what are we at now? We are at six to nine. Six for boys, six to nine. nine for girls. Wow. So even no matter what the ring test says, it's gonna say but girl. we'll do the ring test and see what it says. Cause I feel like that's okay. a pretty big Let's do it. defining factor. So next we're gonna do the ring test. And for the ring test, you have to pluck one of my hairs out and then you're gonna use my ring and then you're going to um, dangle it over my stomach and then you're gonna wait for it to move on its own. So if it swings back and forth in a straight line, it's a girl. And if it goes in circles like this, then it's a boy. Oh. Okay? So okay. let's get the camera all positioned up and do you wanna pluck a strand of my hair? <laughs> sure, that sounds painful. It doesn't hurt. Here, you need to grab one. There you go. Just pull it? Yeah. This is two. It <laughs> doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna have a second angle over here so you guys can see it closer. And then, oh yeah, you need my ring. Mm -hmm. Did it specify which kind of knot to tie? <laughs> you can just pull it through. It doesn't have to be a specific knot. Okay, so what I do, I hold it and then... So you just hold it directly over. And then let it... And let it dangle finished. on its own for a few minutes. That looks like back and forth to me. 
That's it's definitely, definitely back circle. and forth. You think that's a circle? No, I said it's definitely not a circle. Yeah. Wow. So what's back and forth? That's mean? crazy. Back and forth in a straight line is girl. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. <laughs> Final result is 10 for girl, 6 for boy. Wow. 10 girl, 6 boy. That's crazy. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed doing this gender prediction test. It was super fun to like see what we think the baby will be. We're gonna find out in just a few hours, but it will be a separate video, so make sure you guys are on the lookout for that one. Leave your guesses down below what you guys think it's going to be. And make sure you guys go follow my Instagram because I'm gonna be posting a lot more pregnancy updates over there so you guys can stay more up to date with what we're doing and what's going on. And yeah, again, make sure to subscribe and like this video. Comment down below other pregnancy related videos or just random videos you guys want me to do. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.